Oh no, I'm getting sucked in the BPS Sports Vortex. Will I ever get out? Hey, it's Brian Lake back with another review and the pre-workout uh, review of that sort. So this is the kind that I like to do and I like to take it and go to the gym. So I'm going to give me my thoughts on the flavor and the taste and then afterwards I'll come back and say how good or bad or whatever I thought of the product. So this is the 1MR Vortex pre-workout, unstoppable energy, fast acting, energy and focus, strength and performance, 40 servings in here. I forget how much I picked this up for. Um, it's been a while because I've been not, I haven't hit the gym as hard as I want to and I haven't had this in a while. So this is the Arctic Ice flavor. Be better, be strong, BPI. That's funny. Uh, so the ingredients, I'm going to take my glasses off because I can't read for crap today. So this is 15 to uh, 30 minutes before workout. So basically once I take it, I'll wrap up and get some laundry going and I'll hit the gym. Uh, it does warn about uh, taking food. I don't eat or drink. Uh, it says uh, avoid eating food or drinking a protein shake within an hour after consuming. So we'll see what's up with that. Um, I don't tend to take this uh, or on a full stomach may diminish its effects. So that's part of the problem, part of why you don't want to eat food. So um, ingredients: <coughs> one scoop of One scoop is three grams. Here's the scoop. Now the, the stuff itself is kind of brown, which is kind of weird, but you have this tiny scoop uh, because you can see it's not brown uh, once you shake it. Now once I ha one thing I have noticed about this is its mixability is not very good if you just put this in a, in a glass with a spoon. And so I've opted for this. Now I've gone with the eight ounces of water in one full scoop. So we'll see how good the taste is. Because um, I'm usually taking this at half strength and other things, but not today. So, uh, but let's see, Mount Provada, we have uh, 20, we have niacin is uh, 20 grams as ni niacetic acid, uh, niacetic acid. Uh, there's a full speed vortex matrix, which is proprietary, one point, it's 1,705 milligrams, so basically 1.7 grams. Uh, glycerol, um, there's some more words I can't pronounce, in, in indigo vera pulchera extract leaf, that might be where the coloring is coming from once it's wet. Caffeine, as caffeine uh, and anhydro, anhydros, that uh, doesn't say how much, uh, wheat white, lead wart extract, um, some other crap and I don't even know and but it doesn't say things like how much of all the ingredients you're getting which is kind of weird you know like your your uh, citromalate and stuff like that so I don't know if this is just different stuff and I don't have this on tight enough so let's see what we got so after we shake it up it's got a nice greenish color so let's say if you use a spoon, it, it clumps in it, at least for me, um, but maybe this is, I don't think it's old. This doesn't have a 321, so March of 2021, uh, it's got three years. So what I like is it has this nice fruity-ish aroma. You know, it's like blue as opposed to red, although it's green. And it tastes pretty good. And it has this residue. This is why I almost think there's branch chain aminos in here, why it doesn't mix well with a spoon. Because even with the mixing bowl, ball, you still have things in chunkiness. But it doesn't say anything about branch chain. That's one of the ways you can tell if your branch chain amino acid formula is good, is that they are repellent of water. So they, they're hard to mix in water. Um, that went down the wrong way. <coughs> but that's that chunkiness again. And I don't know how much of that's just inert matter that just helps with the flavor and other things and how much would I need to actually consume. It 
But overall, this is like an 8, 9 on flavor. It's not overly sweet. It's not too tart. When you mix it in the right proportions. 8 ounces of water, one scoop works very well for me. So, that's, um, other than choking on it, that's pretty good. So we'll see. Um, now, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be doing deadlifts today. So we'll see what kind of energy I have. Uh, hopefully I have I can get to that part of the gym. I don't have to worry about it. But uh, sometimes people are tittle farting in, in, in my way and I can't get the deadlifts. If not, I'm going to do squats or heavy lift, some kind of heavy lifting. Probably not bench presses. My shoulders bother me again. And um, But I do got to get my bench press up. It's pathetically weak. But I should be deadlifting decently today. But, I, you know... We'll see if I get over 250. I mean, I, I kind of doubt it, but I really need to be over 300. But that's 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 a, as a discussion for a different video of my my issues with my back. All right. Okay. So that's I, I can actually feel as most of these I can feel within minutes uh, of it acting. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and get to the gym, and we'll be back on the other side to give a review of how well I think it worked in the gym. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, while well, it gets water, we'll, we'll finish the second half of this. So I've been back from the gym for oh, a little while, let the dogs out. But it's still really hot. So uh, what's my take on the M, the one MR Vortex pre-workout? Now previously I had some time, I was took less than this um, because I kept getting diarrhea, you know, loose bowels, whatever you want to call it, 20 minutes or so after taking this. Then I read the label, and now I think I know why. Because what I was doing is get up in the morning, and I was hungry, and so I would have something to eat, either nuts or some, sometimes a protein shake. And sometimes it was a two scooper, sometimes it was a one, you know, with just six, eight ounces of water and, and you know, something like that. And then, I was, then I'd let the dogs out, and maybe 20 minutes or so, half hour, I would take this, and it was interrupting. Today I didn't have that problem. Now I ate about two hours before this. I also shot a protein bar review before I did this and I finished that off, but it was pretty small. Um, so I waited about 15-ish minutes before I left and didn't have any ill effects in it and I didn't even when I was at the gym. So we'll see if that holds. Uh, I'll, I'll be mindful. So that means in the, if I'm going to go back to working out in the morning, I really need to um, have a bigger meal in the evening and let that kind of go through all night. We'll see. But I don't know about unstoppable energy, but I wasn't really, uh, I didn't have a high level of energy before I took this stuff, before I went, and I had a slight headache, and, and then all went away. So, um, you know, this is pretty good. This isn't that I recommend. Taste-wise, I think it's about an eight, eight and a half. Uh, if the, the PMB stuff, I hadn't had any of their stuff, and their mango, theirs is a fantastic tasting, then I would be more inclined to give us more of a nine. So the fact that I've had some better stuff is pretty good. What I liked about this is I didn't get overheated. Uh, I got some heated from this. Sometimes my gym is not that cold. And some pre-workout, especially so what I did today was uh, kind of day two of a five by five program. So I did some squats to warm up. Not a full five, set of five, just a set of three. It's my modified version. Then I did overhead presses, did some warm ups. I did a sets of five. And then I did deadlifts. So I, and then I did um, two warm-up sets. Well, maybe three warm-up sets and two work sets, depending on how you want to look at it. Now, I did hit 210 on my final set of five on deadlift, which for me, uh, you know, year, a couple of years ago, I was over 250 all the time. And then it, it just went on the crap. And I've been trying to get back ever since. And it doesn't help that I just keep getting older and I keep getting lazier. So considering I haven't been, I haven't done deadlifts in like two and a half, maybe almost three weeks, and I was up to about 225 then. It's not bad, but I really need to get back to where I was. I need to be eating bigger and all that other stuff. So this is a recommended. <laughs> uh, uh, We're talking eight and a half out of ten over. But it's good. Uh, you, it, it's a nice even up to energy, and then it levels out and kind of slowly drops. It's not a spike, and it's not a spike on the other side. So a lot better than, say, a five-hour energy drink or any of that stuff that you, many of those, those shots you can get, which really spike you. Low sugar. I didn't get an insulin response, so I didn't dope. You know, I didn't get real drowsy and stuff. I've had that response for stuff that's too sweet and, um, and had to, like, break out Gatorade or something like that to get my blood sugar up because my insulin had spiked. Don't have that problem. Uh, it mixes. The, the mixing, I don't know. 
And that's one thing I'm going to have to try and investigate. If you know anything about this product and why it doesn't mix very well, please let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe I can get some feedback from them off of Twitter or something like that. Because uh, it, it feels like there's a brand... I mean, I've had that same texture when drinking it in, branched, in really good branched amino acid um, supplements. So that's why I suspect that's in there, but there's nothing on the label that says that. So it's only a suspicion. All right, so... Anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know if there's any other flavors. Uh, this is the Arctic Ice flavor. Uh, I may, you know, I'd love to get some uh, samples from BPI and try some of their other flavors in this variety. Many times, all we get around stores around here is one, maybe two flavors. C4 is about the only thing we get in multiple flavors. Although there's like three or four different versions of C4 anymore, but much, many things come in one. That's all we, you've got, unless I go pay a lot through the nose at GNC or order it online and um, you know it takes me usually takes me a month and a half to get through one of these uh, sometimes longer so online ordering many times this is a, a spur of the moment buy and I don't remember I think I got this at Walmart uh, I'm not positive it's been too long all right well thanks for stopping by thanks for clicking like thanks for subscribing over here thanks for sharing on Twitter and uh, I'm gonna go hit the showers because uh, I'm a mess all right thank you goodbye Dozen. Come here. You want to be on the show, Dozy? Uh, yeah, I'll get you some Lalu in a minute. Look, there's. Say hello, Kaylin Webb and Liquid Metal Pro. My name's Dozer, and I run away today, and Daddy had to chase me down the street. Yeah. All right. Air's off. All right, sounds off. What? Noise is off, not sounds off. That's that's theater though. Break a leg. I forgot the product. I'll get Zach up. Marker.